Massive revelations in Niger killing Rao. Niger's son Balraj Niger drops a big bombshell, claims proximity of his father with Canadian intelligence agencies days before he was killed outside a Gurdwara in Canada, Surrey, on June 18 earlier this year. Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Niger was in regular touch with Canadian intelligence service and had met senior officials two to three days before he was killed in June this year. His son has claimed that Canadian intelligence authorities advised Niger to stay home days before he was murdered. Niger's son Balraj Niger claimed to have accompanied his father when he held that meeting with Canadian intelligence officials. My colleague Gaurav Savant is now joining me live for more on this. Gaurav, my first question to you, what should we make of Niger's son's revelations. What does this mean? It's quite a sensational disclosure made by Balraj Singh Nijjar, Hardeep Singh Nijjar's son, that his father was regularly in touch with the Canadian intelligence agencies, the Canadian Security and Intelligence Service or CSIS. In fact, uh, Balraj Nijjar has told local journalists in Canada that his father, Hardeep Singh Nijjar, was regularly in touch uh, with Canadian intelligence agencies. They met frequently. In fact, uh, according to reports that have emerged from Canada, the f uh, one of the meetings had taken place just one day before Nijjar was killed. That's on the 17th of June. And another meeting, according to Balraj Nijjar in Canadian media reports, uh, the second meeting was scheduled for two days after he was killed, which is the 20th of June. And it's extremely curious why Canada's intelligence agencies would meet a plumber so frequently unless there is more to it than meets the eye. Because do keep in mind, Indian intelligence agencies and the Ministry of External Affairs had regularly, not just once, but more than once, shared a dossier on Hardeep Singh Nijjar, who was a designated Khalistani terrorist in India. Details of his activities in India had been shared with Canadian government and agencies. Were they not there to arrest him? Why were they not arresting him? Uh, why were intelligence agencies in touch with him? These are questions that the Canadian government would need to respond if at all they do, instead of just laying the blame at India's door. Absolutely. Gaurav, thank you so much for joining us uh, with all of those details. Now, amid India-Canada diplomatic standoff in the latest former NIA DG, YC Modi has dropped a bombshell claiming that Canada is soft on terror because of which it has become a safe haven for Khalistani thugs. So, so he added that whenever India has tried to deport or extradite any terrorist or Khalistani through talks with Canada, the Canadian government has never extended help. On Wednesday, the National Investigation Agency conducted raids at 53 locations across six states and one UT in which seven, I beg your pardon, dozen suspects were detained. Arms and ammunition were also seized. These raids were aimed at dismantling the terror gangster drug smuggler nexus on weapon supplies and logistics providers as well associated with various hardcore gangs and their operatives. Canada-based terrorist Arshtala, Lawrence Bishnoi, Sukha Dunke, Harry Moore, Narendra Lali, Kala Jatheri and Deepak Tinu are on the NIA's radar. Where the terrorism is concerned, this is the country's premier agency. We have been regularly with different countries' counterparts. We live in touch with them. We live in touch with them. उनके पुलिस लियाजन ऑफिसर्स जो दिल्ली में हैं, उनसे हम टच में रहते हैं और इनफॉरमेशन शेयरिंग होती है। ये अलग-अलग देश का रिस्पांस अलग-अलग रहता है। कुछ देश हमारी दी गई इनफॉरमेशन पर बहुत तेजी से रिएक्ट करते रहे हैं, जबकि कनाडा के बारे में मैं अफसोस से कहता हूं कि हम लोगों ने बहुत पर अफसोस की बात यह है कि वहां से जो रिस्पांस मिलना चाहिए वो रिस्पांस नहीं मिला है